we back with full auto replacer king and b-side did it they finally stumped me they made a boss too difficult for me to find a way to get minimum score using a team consisting of farmable units they buffed the boss's hp times eight and doubled the add stats on hard i actually don't know why they're even touching hard like i don't get what their goal is they want they want to create a paywall that's only going to get the casuals to quit and if that happens who, who will the whales lord their stats over normally well we're going to get we're going to get the minimum score of 12k uh we're going to reach that and normally i would be using a budget team consisting of invested you know or <laughs> consisting of invested consisting of farmable units and units through the selectors but unfortunately that's not happening this time so let me let me show you what I got. So I'm not even sure what to call this. Um, I can't call it budget anymore. I mean, I guess this is this is this is probably budget for this this boss in particular. But um, yeah, this this doesn't feel budget at all. Uh, you 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 need some rather good gear for this. Uh, Eight million HP instead of the usual 1 million and then they also buff the ads to about half of what our king used to be so you're already fighting an r king at the start or at least half an r king and then uh yeah then you get to fight eight r kings fused into one yay but yeah with uh with yang and a geo we uh we can sit here and spam shields, which will protect us from pretty much all of anything our king can do to our team, other than the, well, the knockback here. And Regina can be used by a different, you, you can, you can replace Regina with a different, uh, with a different awaken, but you actually need some probably anti-tower in order to do that. This is just ranged A speed. So it, it, it works here because Regina cannot be pushed back. Which is amazing. Well, okay, she can, but it's like really, really hard. Like, but for this fight, she does not get pushed back. Her shield gets broken down because of the adds and our king, so it gets her out of her first phase pretty quickly. Then we get into our second phase here, and we we, we just we just keep you know we just keep doing damage to the boss. You could also go full death pin on Regina as well, uh, and it turns out to be pretty interesting, but. Since we have Swan here, we can sit here and death break the boss quite a bit. Doesn't a lot of things don't quite line up here, but we're on auto obviously, so not everything can line up. We just try to make everything the best, you know. We we try to do the best that we can. But yeah, and you know we, that plus four TP wasted here, but we do definitely need Linjian on the team. Even with DP down, this actually works out pretty well. Now you do need to get to 34, or well. You have to clear by 34 seconds in order to get min score with this percentage. We're going to do a little bit better than that, mainly because Regina is pretty nice for, for, for hard, honestly. But if you throw even here, you, he, it just wins. In all honesty, it, it, it Raffle stomps this boss. And there we go, men score. Yay. All right, so this is what I'm running here. We got quad for the ship, Hana with a speed operator. Crit damage works just as well. You probably even get away with AOE res. For Orca, we're just going full on tank. As much crit damage res, much ground res as we can fit. Then Jin, we actually have on the free-to-play set, but we want CDR, tanky CDR, if we can afford it. Nicole, I have on special damage amp, and it's a pretty good special damage amp. But anti-defender, any type of anti-defender subs with anti-ground work just as well. Double anti-defender, attack, attack, any of that will do just fine. Shinatsu, we do actually need on tanky CDR so that she could tank those riflemen at the start. 
Gang, we have on 3DE to play CDR set, the second one you get. Uh, but we want her on tanky CDR if we can afford it. Tangia, we have just on a CDR set, half tank. Swan, we want on as much CDR as possible. She's pretty much crutch in this fight. And then Regina. Regina, we can fit a ton of stuff on. Uh, she's very versatile in what kind of gear. Uh, double anti-tower, attack speed, double attack. You can even go full death pin on this, and she'll do just fine in this fight. Okay, buckle up. This is going to be a, another long fight. So here we are on Expert. And we definitely, we're, we're definitely bringing everything we can uh, in order to deal with this boss here. We got some nice front lines, some DP gain, shields galore. We even got a counter in Eve, and Eve is honestly for 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 this boss. Uh, well, probably for the future if it, if they don't nerf it. 16 million HP. No real way to kiss. Well, I want to say I mean, There's no way to consistently death break, but um. No way to keep a death break on this boss for a good while. But just forewarn you guys, this this run is a bit RNG, and that's going to be pretty much any fight that has to do with, well, perfect evasion units or units that spawn adds. There is a chance that Aegea gets killed here because she loses her shield because the adds don't get killed fast enough, and we don't move up quick enough that... She loses her shield and then replace her king just one shots here with a punch. Everybody else lives, but just just Aegea dies and, and but we need Aegea, so we can't let that happen. So if that happens, just go ahead and restart it. Uh, it I got it on the first try, and then when I went in to test consistency, I noticed that it was sitting there, you know, Aegea would sit there randomly die. So about two or three runs, you know, and then then she didn't die and I was like, Oh okay, well we're just dealing with some RNG. But it's also a little bit RNG. Like once you get Aegea to this point, and we're we're here where we're at right now, it's actually not too bad as long as you don't phase him. Like if you don't get him 50% HP by the time he ultis, because you can't deal with both at the same time, you need to have some space in between. So you you want him to either ult and then you phase him to 50%, or 50% and then ulti. Either which way, the only person who could do damage here really is Eve because she gains Surefire on this boss. So make sure you have hit on her because you need to be able to actually Surefire uh, versus the perfect evasion. You need hit accessories for sure. But yeah, after, like I said, once we get past the first part, the only thing that's really RNG about this, this last part is just how quickly you kill. It should pretty much kill every time as long as all your units um, are alive at this point. It's just it's like this point here, if they're all alive, we're good. It's just whether or not you get the counter on Eve or great RNG with Eve. It, it really just all relies on Eve. You need those eight seconds of uh, surefire as often as possible to fight this boss. Surya does a little bit of damage actually on her ult amp, even through misses. So, you know, she actually probably gets to stack to 200%, which is, which is good, in all honesty. Look at that, almost 22 mil. Or rather, a little over 21. That's actually insane. For this scene, we are running quad with Sysop as our operator. For gear, you're gonna hear me say CDR a lot because the majority of this team runs CDR. But, Lin Jian needs to be on tanky CDR. You can give her soldier res if she's having some issues in the beginning. 
Ecclesia is going to be on CDR, though you only need two pieces of ground res. The rest can be damage. Eve, you want to have on your best damage gear. You kind of want to do neutral damage uh, instead of range damage or melee damage. Something like crit damage or attack. Just because of the different ranges she's at during the entire fight. But... Anti-tower, uh, attack, attack speed, any of those work. To not do more CDR. You just want tanky CDR. Zinji is the same. She needs tanky CDR, but because she's an Awakened and with bloated stats, so you can get away with, uh, with a couple of maze pieces. Yang, you also want on tanky CDR, and you notice I've given her a little soldier res just so she can take some hits at the start. But by the time she comes out, there's enough shields going on that she should be okay. Swan, we also want on tanky CDR, or truth be told, no, no, she does need some tank because she has to walk up if uh, things aren't going well and the ads are able to attack her. Surya, we want on ult amp. 200% uh, even on a miss, uh, her ult still does some pretty good damage, and that's pretty much all the damage she's going to be able to get out. So might as well go with it. But you can use attack, attack, crit damage, or just anything in general that gives her damage. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helps you get the minimum score this season. I did talk to Coffin Manager Hana, and she said she was trying to get a manual strap with farmable characters to work, so maybe there's hope? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're feeling extra special, you can join the Mage Institute by clicking the Join button. You can catch me on Discord. Link is in the description. And if you want to help support this channel, there's a link in the description for that, too. As always, I will see you all next time.